What's going on growers? It's James Prigioni coming to you live from Jersey. The weather is starting to change with fall in the way, but the gardens are still pumping out lots of food. So today, I want to take you along with me for a September garden harvest. Let's go! Let's start things off in this front corner of the food forest. Right here we have a squash. I believe this is the Pattison Golden Marbury squash. So first I'm going to grab this one here. Nice shape to it. This is a nice summer squash, a little different than your typical zucchinis. So we've got one here, then let's harvest this other one right here. And we'll continue to harvest these so they continue to produce. And then I've also got some cucumbers right above me that I planted the next round of them. We've got this suyo along right up top here. Let's grab one of those along the fence line right here. And then I also want to show you something that isn't finished yet, but it's still setting up. I've got these jelly melons I've planted along the fence over here hidden in the corner and they're pretty cool they're unique and they're super super spiky look at that so they're gonna change color a little bit before they're ripe and I'll show you what they look like when we do eat those we've also got some more cucumbers right here setting up I'm gonna grab as Tuck's looking for his own cucumber down there looks like he might have found something what you got boy I think he's trying to get one of the young jelly melons we'll get you a cucumber in a little bit Tuck but let's move down here where we've got even more things planted we've got some peppers that I need to harvest. I've got some more melons that are starting to ripen up top there. But we've got a lot of different things we need to go through the garden and harvest, so we're just getting started. It looks like Tuck wants a cucumber. He's around looking for a fresh one, so we'll make sure we grab him a good one. I've got a bunch of cucumbers that are ready, like this one right here. Nice, excellent shape and size, as he just takes that little suyo along. We'll let him take that and snack on it himself while we get just a bunch more of these cucumbers. So. There's one variety I've grabbed right here, and I planted a bunch of pickling varieties because they're so quick to ripen, like this one right here. The pickling varieties are only like 50 to 55 days, and they'll produce so many cucumbers as long as you stay on top of it. So let's grab some of these. I believe these are the Rhonda pickling cucumbers. So we've had these here. Got another big cucumber over here. I believe this is the General Lee. And then we've got more along the fence line. As we move down just a little bit, we'll grab. So over here we've got more cucumbers here's another pickling variety and we've got even more up top here and this is again our second or maybe third round for some of them of cucumbers we love extending the season and i like picking the suyo longs even when they're this small so they stay on top of producing Tux looks like he wants even another one it looks like he found one back there that we can't reach but we'll worry, worry about that one later and I actually missed another one right over here and then I've got the variety that I showed in the last video, the one that's really sweet that I enjoy so much on this side. Let me just grab it real quick. Still small, but still really good. <laughs> Tuck's stealing that cucumber. Every time I turn around, he takes another one. Let's continue to move down and just grab more stuff because we've got some fresh squash right over here ready too. Let's grab this squash right here that we just planted, a nice young one. It'll be real delicious. And then I'll move over, grab some peppers and some grapes and even more stuff. Got that squash in there now. Now I'm gonna grab some peppers, some tomatoes, and some grapes, all different kind of stuff. And first we'll start off with some tomatoes here. Still some cherry tomatoes that look real nice. And we'll continue to harvest these. Again, they'll produce all the way up until the frost. Grab more of these. A bunch here. And then we've got the sun golds too. They're right back here. Grab some sun gold. Dropped a few, but that's okay. Sun gold's over here. Drop these tomatoes in. And we've got some peppers over here. These look like the lipstick peppers. We'll grab these peppers here. And this plant is looking relatively small, but still a good amount of peppers. And I've got some huge pepper plants over in my raised bed. And then some of these violet sparkle pepple. peppers look nice too. Tuck's just walking through there, having fun, looking for some beans and stuff, I think. Then I'm gonna grab some uh, some grapes that I have ready still, right along the fence here. We've got some nice colors in here already. And I've got these grapes covered with the insect netting because the birds love to come in here and snack on them, especially when they're super ripe like this. These ones are very ripe and so good, fresh. So th there's a little ones that got some rot on it and some that got bitten by the bugs, but overall, really nice set. Another one right here. And we've got a bunch of grapes still ready in the other food forest too. So let's get these in here. I'm gonna have to empty the bowl and then start filling it up again with some other stuff. Let's grab this golden squash right here. Such a beautiful color. And I've got a bunch of different summer squashes planted because I love eating them. Cut that one out right there and look at that color on that. Oh my gosh, 
so striking, so beautiful. And then let's move over to my beast squash plant. This thing has just been pumping out squash all season long, nonstop. And it's my favorite variety too. This is a great size and shape too. Or age, because I love eating it like that, that size. We're gonna grab some of these tomatoes over here. Just kind of let them drop down into the bowl. We got a bunch here. Tuck doesn't like tomatoes, so he won't even be going for these. And then after this, let's move in the back and we've got some lemon squash that I'm gonna grab too. Just in the back over here. We'll have to walk across all these strawberries and everything. Next year, the strawberry harvests are gonna be even bigger than the year before. That's why we love planting perennials too, along with all the annuals. This little lemon squash here. And I'm gonna keep harvesting these when they're really small. Even though this one's tiny here, I'm gonna keep them when they're small because that's when they're delicious and really good. Let's get that one in. And then let's move over to the other garden where I have a bunch of peppers and a bunch of grapes and just more stuff I gotta grab. Let's move over into the other food forest. Grab some more of these cherry tomatoes here. We'll just harvest a bunch of these. So many of them too. And these are so sweet. Just get as many as I can grab right here real quick. Load the bowl up. And then I know there's some more even up here. Whoops. <laughs> There's a lot of them falling off at once. And then we've got some more tomatoes to the left of us over here. Some nice ones. And we'll just keep harvesting these. And as you look up the plant too, you'll notice there's even more setting up that we'll be eating later into the season. Like on this side, there's still a bunch. So we'll just harvest as many as we can so we can just keep eating them. And it sounds like Tuck's underneath the shiso digging his classic hole, just making it a little deeper over there. Cause it is getting actually hot today. So it looks like he's got his shiso covering, digging underneath, <laughs> going deeper and deeper. That's good boy, that's deep enough boy. Good boy. <laughs> this guy had his snack, now he needs to relax a little bit. See if he's got a good spot, he's going a little deeper even. We will let Tuck just relax right there for now as we continue harvesting. From this raised bed over here, we've got a lot of stuff, a bunch of different peppers and things we've got to grab. So let's get some of these red peppers right here. They really look nice. This plant is super productive. We'll grab all these fresh red peppers in here. It's a nice one here, here. This one looks like the lipstick, another lipstick one, and then we've got another pepper right next to it. So some beautiful color on those peppers there. So striking, especially against the yellows. Nature just paints the most beautiful picture. I've talked about it before, but when it comes to gardening, I like to say I'm not, I'm not the artist, I'm just the assistant. All I really do is just set everything up in its proper place, like the seeds and things, and then I let nature paint the picture. And I just reap the rewards basically from it. So nice peppers here. We've got these little purple peppers here that are nice also. We'll grab a bunch of those. And you can see how many different varieties of peppers we're planting in just such a small area right there. So you could push it. Even if you have a small area, you can grow a lot of different stuff. Then as we look underneath here, we've got some hot peppers too. Look at those babies. These things are loaded. So I'm not gonna be eating these fresh, that's for sure. And we don't wanna tuck biting at any of these because they are super hot. So we'll let those go right there. Then this one I'll grab here, nice yellow pepper. Then I've got some more peppers on the orange, other side, some orange ones, some red ones. Let's go over to that side and check them out real quick. Tuck, you're up from laying down, boy? Once he heard me cutting the peppers, he probably wanted to show up and he wants his taste. This guy's a little, a little greedy in the garden, but that's why we love him. Right, boy? Good boy. So let's get this orange pepper back here. Looks like another nice one. And then we've got some more reds. Another different kind of red. This is like the paradisium right here, I think this one's called. And then I see some more that are ripe in here. Some really nice ones. And then a different variety of hot peppers right here. And then we still got some tomatoes and stuff ready. So let's move up because we love growing those vertically. You can see how we're getting that extra util utilization of space by growing things up high. Like look at the size of this, of this sun gold. This thing is just a monster up here. Let's grab those ripe peppers. I meant these ripe tomatoes though. So we can be snacking on them. And then we've got some more tomatoes that are ripe right underneath here. Let's move over to the other raised bed where we've got some of the Criollo de Cocina peppers ready and we've got some fresh green beans that are ready too. Let's move right to here. And me and Tuck were just snacking on these Criollo de Cocinas just the other day. These ones have the really cool texture to them. You know, it's got so much character. That one could have been a little more ripe, but this one's sure good. So let's keep loading those in. 
That's why we love the seasons and we love planting a diverse number of things because there's always something ready to harvest. I guess the Creole de Cocina is our one of Tuck's favorite because he went and grabbed that one quick. Let's get this pepper here too. And then we want to make sure we're harvesting a lot of these green beans. You can see how well the green beans are doing just in this section right here. As you notice, there's just there's so many green beans ripe, so we're going to make sure we pick all the ones that are relatively large so that they continue to produce. We want to make sure we're getting as much harvest as we can in it, out of each little section, getting the most out of them. So as I open up the plants like here, you'll notice, look how productive some of these plants are. That's what you love to see. All these green beans doing really well. And then let me show you another kind of bean that we're growing up along the fence over here. These are the purple yard long beans. These ones have a, a lot of character too and are super cool. You can see how long they are. They're gonna get a yard long, but it's nice to get them and pick them when they're small like this so they're, so they're not as tough and they're nice and sweet. Let's try one and see if Tuck wants to taste one too. Hey Tuck, Tuck, want a bean? Want a bean boy? It looks like he's a little busy having fun with his pepper. Let's grab some of these Niagara grapes here. But before I do that, let's look at some of these Catawbas. So these Catawbas over here are a later grape. They're just starting to change color and they've got an excellent flavor to them right here. Like I said, it's a later grape, so we're extending that harvest of our grapes. American grape slip skin, maybe one of my favorite flavored ones, fresh eating. I think better than Niagara, although they all have their unique characteristic that makes them so good. So you'll notice not every grape in here is perfect. Some of them get bit a little bit and some of them have a little bit of black rot, black rot damage, but that's okay. We're still gonna get a nice, nice harvest from these. And we're gonna harvest all the rest of these today because we've gone around and eaten a lot of them fresh. Now we're just gonna get the rest. You'll notice there's a lot of bees and hornets and stuff coming around here because it's just so sweet. So we're just gonna grab a bunch of them and just be, be gentle and careful. They're not gonna bother us. They got enough delicious stuff to go for in here. So decent sets, again, not all perfect grapes, but we'll be able to make some excellent juices and stuff and even some jellies from these. These are all nice and ripe, ready to harvest. Let's get some more of these. It's getting hard to hold all of them. And we've got even more to harvest still. That's today's video growers. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. It's a great feeling to be able to come out here, harvest some of this fresh stuff and be able to share it with Tuck and all my friends and family. So I hope you get the opportunity to. And I love making these videos because I like showing you what any of you can have and any of you can do if you have the space. I'm not doing anything special here. And it reminds me of one of my favorite quotes that I've talked about it before. And it is that the price is easy if the promise is clear. So the promise are the harvests and it's easier to pay that price when you can actually see those into the future. You'll notice I use quotes a lot in my videos because sometimes people have said something so well, there's, like, there's no point of trying to say it better. And that right there is a quote too. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with your friends. Don't forget to check out the merch down low. And remember, whenever you're on Amazon, start your shopping with our Amazon affiliate link. Tuck and James will be back at you again real soon. We 